Alrighty. So, it's been basically one year, at least one year since Voxel Blade came out remastered. Wow! So I decided to show off what one year of Voxel Blade looks like. So on my main account, these are all the slots that I have. I decided to show them off from youngest to oldest. So here's my youngest one. Oh, hello. So my most recent one that I, w or I made, I'm not really working on it anymore, is this Windraco. Decides to go with Dandelion Knight because I thought it would be funny. And it is. My claw. Oh. Can crit with a almost 100% chance. It's nice. It's funny. <laughs> but not the best. I was also thinking about for this slot. I'm trying to use Stratos. Stratos armor and have Dandelion Knight. So I would just crit whenever you use the perk which is the air barrier I don't think I have any stratos armor here nope but you would do wind damage build up a barrier and then when you use a rune you blast let out a little air blast I think that would crit with some dandelion knight if I had it infused and not wearing it I think that would be pretty funny not that good but it would be funny I was also thinking of using wind stratos core the, <laughs> the idea was uh to make a dragonborn theme slot, and it was gonna be Fusro Claw because of unrelenting force of the Fusro Daw Dragon Shout, and just launch things. But man, thin line armor is so annoying <laughs> to use. You get knocked back a lot. Everything you hit gets knocked back a lot. And you can't combo. And you don't use... What's it called? Wind Spirit. Because Wind Spirit just has so much raw boost, air boost, that it out overshadows every single wind armor. Since the other wind armor perks are not that good. But oh well. That's the idea that I was going to go for this slot. Maybe when I level up full wind spirit I can show how much damage that claw does because that does do mythical wind spirit does do more for the claw than what I was going for with dandelion but oh well next slot all right for my second youngest slot it would be on my alt account I had to make because I ran out of slots on my main account so I was working on these. This one is a thief that I haven't shown off anything about yet and that's what I was working on. And this is the gladiator that I showcased in the gladiator progression and starlight scourge and stuff like that. And the younger one is actually the gladiator. Wow. So this is what I used for the showcase and everything. A cheaper version. Well, this wasn't vampiric, it was strengthened. But I switched that to vampiric. So I could get healing whenever I was low. And I don't have frenzy on this one. Because this would be my defensive and survivability loadout. So if I ever get low and I want to survive and heal, I go to this. This could be replaced with a strengthen so I don't get minus one protection. That, that. I would switch this out or from Berserking to Strengthen specifically for the old Bastion boss when his beam just did so much physical and earth damage that it, if you didn't have enough protection it would just kind of do a lot of damage. But now it doesn't, it just does true damage so I can keep Berserking on it, wow. This is what I mainly use with all these double enchanted frenzied pieces. That I had lying around. That's kind of why I made a berserking, or not a berserking, a gladiator slot. Because I just had so many berserking double enchants that I just wanted to burn them on something. So I had frenzy piercing, 
Turtle King's Frenzied, Surging Frenzied, and Quick Frenzied. And, uh... Uh, they don't really have to be double enchants. It's nice, I guess. Surging is really funny. Turtle King is also really funny. When they just proc. Sometimes I just block instead of taking damage. Sometimes I can chain three slams in a row for a ton of burst damage. But it's basically just frenzied. And what I like about this is that I have a lot of defense. Physical and magic. Well, not really magic, but mostly physical. So I don't get yopped instantly when I use Frenzied. I didn't show this for my other slot, but here's my progression with blades on here. Not really much. I just had... I don't remember getting some of these. Uh... Oh, right, so I was, I just wanted Bestial and Scourge, that was the main idea, and then grinding through the B dungeon was awful without having enough attack speed on an unbalanced weapon, so I got dual wielding, and then I would use Jagged Blade, the tier 3, just to clear through 0 times in rage B for the SP. Because breaking doors with an unbalanced without berserking armor or attack speed is miserable. I was also going to do... I didn't make a video on it. I don't know if I will, but I was going to do one of the undead wolf summon with sacred pole. So I would have divine intervention and I would give my wolf... I don't... I think frenzy affects your summons, but it was going to be having one frenzied undead wolf. And I mean, it. when I was testing it, the wolf did like 100 damage because of gladiator rage. That was fun, but not really that good because I would just kill everything with my mace instead of the wolf doing damage since I gladiator just does so much raw damage. Raw physical damage. And the Starlight with Scourger's handle was also another idea. Just in case that there was a physical resistant daily, I could switch to that. But Gladiator just does so much raw physical damage that I can basically just ignore physical dailies. For context, uh, someone on my last video for the 300 subscriber special suggested that I tried to do a no-hit run of Corrupted Frog Dungeon, and I was really close to doing it. I just got to the boss and then I got hit by the puke a couple of times in multiple runs when the boss was at half health. Very sad. But it's possible for me to do it, and I'll probably do it on this slot for a no-hit run. But yeah, for context of how much damage I do, I could one-shot everything in Corrupted Frog with, except for uh, reinforced dragon gators, which they survive with like 5 HP. And if I am below 50% HP, since I'm human, I would still, I would one-shot them. Or if I get Scourgers or proc, that would also one-shot them. But since it has a lot of, it has like 800 in total. Since I just have a lot of Lone Samurai and I'm Gladiator, I do a lot of damage to max health enemies or high health enemies. So yeah, that's nice. I really like this build. I also really like this handle. It looks cool. And I like the blade too. Not the most optimized, but it's fun. Alright, next slot. Alright, back again on my alt. I, I think my next youngest one was my thief. Oh, self-destruct. And for this one, it was mainly supposed to just be an alt to carry my spare items that I didn't need. I'm also going to try and go through these a lot faster since I realize I 
ramble way too much. So this one's gonna, it's my thief slot. It's a human thief. I picked human because it was like the worst race or considered to be not that good. So I chose it because I thought it would be funny. I didn't think I'd really use this slot. That's tenacity thief. Wow. And I mean, thief does a lot of damage because they're a damage based skill. So that's not really surprising that it does damage, but ferocity. Usually on tanks, using it on thief, who's usually squishy. I had this just so I could run around faster. Uh, this was gonna be my next video, my next showcase. But instead of double enchant, I was gonna use this, Ferocity Ninja, because that works just as well and it's cheaper and it's way easier to get. You just don't have as much speed, which 30% is good enough. Also, there's I realized there's a Bastion Ring here. I was using Agile earlier, but not anymore because I got Bastion Ring as a lucky draw. Using King Stagger and wow, my favorite looking handle. It does a lot of damage because Thief, whatever. I'll show that in the showcase if I ever get to it. But yeah, this is a slot. Next one. Alrighty. Back to my main account. My next youngest one was you. Uh, this is my shield monk. I like the shield, it's funny. I don't really care about the other gloves, to be honest. I really don't like the glove heavy attack. It feels really clunky. But for now, that is the, the turtle tank, wow. And, I mean, it's probably because of the shield, but it was really tanky with, for my snailsman, turtle, leech, whatever it was, build. I didn't realize how well it was at just blocking and tanking. You just stand there blocking and just tank everything until I tried to switch things around. And I went to this. Just for bleed, basic bleed shield with a lot of thorns, so I would just block and then bleed enemies to death. I mean, it works. Also, with the most recent, uh, you can the most recent up. I don't know if it's the most recent, but it's the update where it's like no delay after your finishers, and you can just block really fast. You can just right click and run. Like start sprinting immediately and it's so nice because this guard breaks so it bleeds everyone around you and you can instantly start running or like roll away or just block out of it now before it had so much end lag so it was good but it had so much end lag and it was miserable to do but now just kind of pop that, bleed things, block, and it's so much more responsive, it's so nice. I forgot to show my inventory on the other stuff, but I usually don't have that much level of stuff anyways. Uh, yeah, until I get to my main, I'll show it more on my main, because that's where I hoard everything. Yeah, this is this build. And there was also the Stardust stuff I use on this. These other slots don't have us. I, I'm mainly making this to show the main progression of one year on my main slot. Wow. So I'm just kind of trying to go and breeze through these and try and make it not as long. Because I ramble too much. Alright, next slot. Alrighty, for the next slot that... Uh, my next youngest is my Scholar. It all kind of mixes together after playing the game for so long. Uh, my Scholar, I'm still kind of messing around with it because weapon arts are fun. I find them to be fun, but grinding for SP is miserable. <laughs> so that's not as motivating, but 
this is the one that I had the fungus mage build. I still use it. It's nice. It gets me through dungeons so I can get SP. Uh, I was gonna try and do something with earth. I was gonna do earth weapon arts. Maybe earth slam. Probably not earth slam. I wanted the bastion spin. That's why I have these two bastion pieces. Bastion guardian pieces. With necrotic on it. But man. It doubles the cooldown. And it doesn't give that much damage. I can get more damage through my fungus mage. And just poison dot. For half the cooldown. So that was kind of disappointing. I don't enough I'll keep working on that uh yeah it was that's what I have for the idea as a basic idea just kind of going through it my items most of everything that I have favorited is leveled usually sometimes I'm seeing a lot of not level stuff here <laughs> I'm a liar don't listen to me but yeah that's just a lot of stuff that I have and for my weapon parts, I think this slot has a decent amount of stuff. I don't. I should try being try to use the Y handler more because weapon arts and that has as weapon arts focus. But I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah, a lot of or a decent amount of different parts for different ideas that I had. But yeah, next slot. Alrighty, my next youngest one. I know this one. It's my Cursed Arborean. Which, I just have it as a basic fire build. That's not my combat slot. It's a basic fire build. With Ember Mage. The Kindling weapons. And curse flame mass so I can kill dragon gators and not suffer through their insanely high fire resistance. I made this slot uh, specifically because <laughs> I was messing with my friend or messing around with my friend and he decided, you know what? Since he's in the curse guild and it gives him the option to eat binded corruptions. He's just going to stack up on a ton of those. That's why I have the 100 and 200 sword corruption videos. Because we were just messing around with that. And then whenever I got really high on binded corruptions on my main slot. And I didn't want to hit the item limit of 100. I would just give them to him so he could just eat them. <laughs> and become glass. I, I, I uh, gave him food poisoning basically and that's why I went to this slot to mess around to try and make him a viable build in curse guild and dots and stuff specifically fire since that's just what he was using and that's what this one was for but I now realize curse is basically the best build in general since it gives you perk potency and the game is based off of hello perks well, that's nice. <laughs> I messed up his slot for nothing, but it doesn't matter since he doesn't play the game anymore. I forgot to mention on my on my scholar slot. That's the only one that I you ever reset because the shrine of regret didn't come out, and I reset that slot because I was trying to make a scholar high elf with water. And water is a huge mistake to start out with. Especially when early game progression relies on doing the frog dungeon and they have insanely high water resistance. Well, toads and bullfrogs. Dragon eaters don't, and I'm pretty sure croconauts still have too much magic weakness for it to really matter. But yeah, that's the only one that I ever wiped and reset. The only other time I ever did something like that was on my monk slot which was actually a vampire and I used Trine of Regret on that one. That's the only other time I used Trine of Regret. 
because I'd rather just <laughs> suffer through and grind the SP to get the other stuff. Alright, too much around me. Next lot. Alright, for my second oldest, it's this boy. My parry tank. This is what I use in general for against basically anything. Except for the bunny prince, which I just switch out my winter wolf chest with cinder soul because he inflicts curse flames and those are really annoying so I just don't want to take afterburn damage so I switch it to that and also I wear this helmet deep steel I'm pretty sure it's called because it's wet vampiric <laughs> I use it as a cosmetic because I crafted that before double enchants were transferable I was thinking, oh wow, that's really cool. And then it gives so much negative holy defense. It's like minus 75% or something. If it wasn't leveled. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. But I don't really use it. I used it earlier when I was first starting the slot. Because that's the only vampiric enchant I had. And then I got another vampiric. So I just put that on a sharp ring, I think. Yeah. And then I immediately replace that with Corrupt Snail Noggin. And now I have stacks. But, yeah. Ferocity and Night Guild and High Tenacity, like stacked armor, is kind of invincible. I can parry too, wow. The recent parry buff was also really nice, so. With multi hits, you can kind of. You have a chance to parry all of them, like a Dragon Gator Beam, which hits four times really fast. I don't know if you can parry every single one, but I know like, you can parry at least the first and the third hit. I when I try, I haven't really tried that much. But I was able to parry the first, and then maybe I just didn't press F fast enough. I blocked the second, parry the third, block the fourth. So I think it's just me not having a fast enough reaction time, but yeah, this is just a basic tank build for whenever I want to do high level content or raid bosses and I don't want to get stunned into oblivion. <laughs> it's when I feel sick of the game and I don't want to interact with the stun mechanic because tenacity and stun resistance kind of is busted. And with Ferocity and Raw Care, I get defense and attack off of it too. So I, uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, I guess I should also mention that I guess this is like one of my favorite builds just because I like parrying. Parrying is what kept me in the game for so long. Oh, talk more about that on my main. Alright, next slot. Alright, time to show off my main, what the entire point of this video is. And I realize that not doing this scripted or anything, just going through my slots, I ramble way too much. The video is going to be so long and I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to put all these clips together and go with it. Yeah. So this is the main slot that I've been using for basically a year. I think I started the game... It's somewhere between April 10th and 15th. I joined the Discord on the 15th. I played the game like one or two days earlier, so like the 12th or 13th or something. I don't know. But I'm saying it's basically one year's close enough of basically playing this game every day, almost every day for a year. I've been using this build for like six months. And I'm not joking, I have a video, it was like six months ago, where I was I was trying to change up my build because there was a bug where a great spear, because I used a great spear before, the magic great hammer pull, so great spears weren't affected by berserking strength, it was a bug for like a day, so that made me change the handle, I changed to angel wood, because I wanted something to interact with my guild, which I'm in the cleric, and I haven't reset or anything. I've been this since 
I started playing the game. <laughs> and whenever I could have joined a guild. I mean, it's alright, I guess. I can heal people when I pass by them, but I'm not really built for healing. And whenever I do the Bastion boss, I go full Turtle King. So I don't have to interact with blocking and his taking stun. I just auto block everything. That's what, uh, it wasn't in this exact one. I changed some of the items. I don't have gemstone. That's what I use for my two time soloing Bastion, like the second day it came out. But you don't really need to turtle against him. And it's probably not good to turtle against him, but I do it because I can and I'm lazy when I do that dungeon. And I do on zero times anyway, since I just need the SP. And it's probably better to just have something to have high burst damage and blitz him down. Because that's what I can do. I can solo that dungeon pretty easily on my on two times difficulty with my gladiator. But well, anyways, enough rambling. The mo uh, I guess first, one year of all my items. Most of these are maxed out. Basically everything is maxed out if it's favorited. With a couple exceptions like Atonement, I don't have that level because I was going to transfer it to something else and mess around with different builds. At least that's what I think I was going to do. I had 19 <laughs> presents left because I was maxing out my crafting level. And I never had enough inventory space to open the presents. And I didn't have my alt account at the time, so I was always at 197 out of 200 items. So I couldn't open these. Uh, yeah, a lot of... Yeah, basically everything here is leveled. And I'm a hoarder. Just have way too much stuff. I don't. I mean, I guess I use them. Or used at least. Usually once, or try to use them. Because uh, I make a lot of different videos about different builds and stuff. That's just me. I make those build videos just because I wanted to experiment with all the different armors and stuff. And I don't know how long I'll be making them because I usually, well it's a lot of them, I just didn't bother changing my infusions because I was just messing around with them and I make the videos just to remember what I've done and haven't done. And sometimes if I really feel like yeah, I'll change the infusion, but I usually don't just so I don't have to go back and change my infusions back to civilian because this is a magic missile build. I really like it. So that's why I usually don't change my infusions on builds. Build videos at least. And so, <laughs> my magnum opus of having all the blades and handles soon. First, go through the, all the blades I already have all of them. I got, I unlocked all of them a month ago or something, I don't remember. But yeah, every single thing is upgraded and I have all of the unlocks. It only took basically a year. All of these. And now for handles, you can see that I haven't upgraded this one yet, so I don't I technically don't have all the handles yet, but I have 106 SP. And so I should f I should have every handle except for starlight handle unless I forgot something and I make myself a fool you're a fool monkey yeah I do have every single handle all right for the one year anniversary. Boom. Now I have every single blade and handle unlocked. Only took a year. 
Wow. Starstream, I can finally use this. What's the cooldown on it? 35 seconds. Wow, that's kind of awful scaling. That's kind of awful. <laughs> this is the tier 5 weapon? Probably want Alchemist on it or something. Oh well. Whoa, it's... Wow, it actually did a lot of DPS. <laughs> but good luck not getting hit out of that. I don't know. It's probably a good Starstream build video out there. That's why I haven't made any of it. Because I was waiting to get the Prism handle as my last handle. And it just so happened that I happened to get enough SP for the anniversary. On the day of the anniversary. Just kidding. This is recorded a day before the anniversary. I fooled you all. I tricked you. I deceived you. But, yeah. One year of Voxel Blade. Finally got all the blades and handles. <laughs> Hoarding a ton of stuff. And I'll probably still make videos. When I, I still have a couple of ideas left. But, like I said, they're probably not going to be fully fleshed out with me changing the infusions. Maybe I will, since I have my all the SP I needed. The, dun the Tundra Dungeon is going to come out eventually. So maybe I won't. I don't know. I really like this build. I've been using it for six months. I'm kind of sticking with it. I really like it. Feels nice to use. For me at least. I like casting Magic Missile. I cast two bullets. But yeah, that was it. I hope you endured my rambling. Oh my god, I'm off cooldown. I hope you enjoyed my rambling. This is why I don't do voiceovers, because I just stumble over my words and ramble and get lost in thought. But well, happy one year anniversary, Voxel Blade, and thanks for watching.